Good morning everyone, welcome to Rivera Urban Homestead. Took a week off last week, actually the last two weeks I haven't really videoed guys. Just haven't really had the umph to do it. I don't know if you can see all the bees that are flying around. But I have all kinds of bees living in these bushes. You see them all? They live here, and they eat these, you know, the pollen off of these flowers right next to them. They haven't bugged us as far as being aggressive or anything, but you walk by these bushes, and they are just all over, all over the place. But they seem pretty cool. They haven't really messed with anyone. I'm trying to get them in the light. Hopefully you can see just uh, them whizzing around. But yeah, so I definitely have great pollinators right here, right in my front yard. So that's awesome. And I'm happy to be able to give them food that they need, different flowers and stuff. They love these purple flowers. All right, so anyway guys, yeah, I've taken a couple weeks off from doing videos, just haven't really had the umph to do it, I don't know. Um, ever since my little dog situation with Daisy, I just haven't really had any kind of creativity to want to do it, so mainly what I've been doing is actually just going fishing, sitting out by the beach, relaxing, fishing in the mornings, on the weekends, you know, when I'm not working, and I've restrung all my fishing poles, I put on new uh, leaders, went and bought another fishing pole, so now I have two surf poles, I have a couple of jetty poles, so haven't really caught anything to keep and eat yet, but just being back out there and doing that again is actually a, a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've done it. So today though, I'm going to just kind of, we'll just kind of show you around. I mean the garden, my tomato plants ain't doing that great. It has been very hot and very dry. Last night we finally had pretty much our first rain of the year, it seems like. And it wasn't a lot, but it was a steady, slow rain for a couple of hours. So it was actually really nice. Um, I don't know if I'm not watering enough on the tomatoes. I'm trying to keep up with it, but it seems like my nice big green one that was just looking amazing started getting tomatoes and then just started wilting and turning yellow so and I've been watering it not watering it seeing if anything works and it's still it's slowly dying I'm basically cutting off stuff I don't know if it's got a uh, some type of a fungus or something like that that's a possibility um, potatoes are doing pretty good the store-bought ones that we planted are doing really good um, my pepper plants are all doing really nice so I'll show you them we'll do an update on the bananas real quick and uh, just kinda do a little walk around I guess you could say and I'll show you a little piece of uh, my uh, beach moment in uh, yesterday morning I'll put that on right now for you and you can just see how peaceful it was out there again for me and let's go to the garden Before we go out to the front garden, let's take a look at these banana plants. 
I tell you what, my big one just put out that leaf the other day. New one coming out. And that thing is probably, I don't know, 12, 13 foot tall maybe. Huge banana plant. I'm hoping that gives me some bigger bananas. My little store-bought one. This one is actually really doing good this year. I think it's going to maybe get established a little better than last year because it is definitely blowing up. Our other banana plant. Bananas are still rolling. Just kind of letting them ripen. Do what they need to do. But as you can see, they're starting to fill in a little bit. <laughs> we'll just let them roll. Look at the thickness of that thing. I mean, it is massive. What a beautiful, beautiful banana plant. And the cool thing about it is right here. One pup, two pups. Can you see it in the shadows? There it is, one, two. So we're getting the next generation of them. And look right here. This one has their banana pup already coming, doing well. Because once those bananas are done, we'll cut this main stalk down, and then that one will take over. And my papaya tree that we planted from seed, look at this bad boy doing really nice and I'm thinking there's like little buds right here like little flowers or something <laughs> maybe get some tiny papayas on this little young buck what else is going on in the backyard here not much got the chickens chilling sitting inside even though they can come out into their backyard area which they have a big backyard hello girls hi hi <laughs> I know I'll come play with you guys in a little while close my feed storage up they're pretty much broken down all the stuff in there in their chicken run all the bedding so with all the wind we had yesterday that gave me an abundance of leaves over here like I did last time so I have tons of leaves right there tons of leaves like wedged all under there so I'm gonna scoop all that out clean all that up and throw it all in the chicken run so they can keep composting so yeah banana plants looking great Love them. Happy Mother's Day. <coughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Bubba. Yeah, I'm going to go back to that again. I don't know. Hi, Momo. Alright, now let's go look at the tomatoes and stuff. I've really had pretty good success with tomatoes, so I don't know why those just died the way they did, but... Guess I'll go show you. It ain't pretty. Oh, so let me show you one thing, guys. The cucumbers that I planted back in that corner one, it is just way too hot and too much sun. Those things burn up once it started getting hot. So, what did I do? I replanted cucumbers in the new bed that I made right here and they right now anyway are looking awesome not near as much sun here morning sun but by like one o'clock it's shade and I think they're liking that here's some of the seed potatoes we planted I can't remember what those are I think the Pontiac Reds 
here is the bucket of the store-bought, those little one potatoes we've got. They're looking really good. I like that. They're doing awesome. The pepper plants. They're all looking good. Getting little buds on them. These are the poblanos. This one here is the red marconi, which as you can see, has a little pepper growing right there. A couple other ones, one down there. Some flowers. And look at this, purple jalapeno is rocking. Look at those jalapenos. Got quite a few on that little plant already. I think I'm about to pick them and make a quick pickled recipe and just pickle them up and see how that comes out. It's a recipe that you need to kind of use them within the week. It's not like a regular pickling where you're boiling them or sealing the jars. It's just a quick marinade and you slice them up and put them in. So maybe I'll show you that and then we'll see how it tastes. And over there... Korean dark greens, always a great producer. That plant loves my atmosphere, or my temperature, zone 9. Korean dark green, it's always grown good for me. Little bush with a lot of peppers. The kale is starting to succumb to the heat, so I'm about to probably pull all that out and just feed it to the chickens. They love it. Here's what's left of my tomato plant. It looked so good a while ago. And now it's just... Hmm. It's actually starting to look... This section right here looks good, but I basically had to take off most of the other section. The onions, I'm starting to get a couple of bulbs. That one's pretty nice. Getting a couple of onions. My hishi dough bunching onions are always amazing. They grow really good here. And on the side of the house where I planted those sunflowers, these are the mammoth sunflowers, but I get not even close enough sun on the side of the house for them. So they're just little ones, but they grew. We got a couple little flowers and more to come. So. They won't be the mammoths, but to plant sunflowers in a place with not much sun, well, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> this little guy here is a Barbados cherry bush. I ordered it online, so we'll see if we can get it rolling. But around the corner, guys, over here, something I did not plant, a volunteer tomato plant. Look at that guy. It's actually looking really good. So, I didn't plant that tomato plant, but I'll take it, being as my other ones are dying. So thanks for coming back. The orange tree is doing good. It's just chilling. It does have these. That's what I wanted to show you. If anyone can identify this, it looks like something's tunneling in the leaves. Let me get one and I'll show you up close. See that? Nothing on the bottom, but on the top, look at that. And that's happening to all the new growth. So if anyone can identify that, I'm thinking, I, I read something about maybe it being a leaf miners. So I gotta get that in check so it doesn't destroy my plant or my tree. Okay, so let's stay positive. Banana plants doing really good. Pepper plants doing really good. Kale will get fed to the chickens. That's great for them. And that was a great producer all winter long up until now. Um, tomato plants, not so good, but we have that volunteer tomato growing. And I'll probably just go to the store and buy another tomato plant and plant it. Maybe where that cucumbers used to be in that little box that's empty right now, I might put a tomato plant there because that gets full sun. Or maybe if they have some melon plants, maybe I can plant the melon plant right there. Either way, I'm going to keep 
evolving. I'm going to keep working the garden. So even though I come across these things, I'm not a professional. I'm an amateur at best. And this is a fairly new garden. You're talking maybe the oldest box is like three years old and everything else is a lot newer. So as my soil matures, as I add my compost in season after season, it's going to get good, especially now that I'm getting that chicken compost going and I'm starting that system, which none of that has even been introduced into the garden yet. So it's going to get better, but for now you just keep plugging along. You can't just sit there and cry about it, right? You got to keep plugging along. So my tomato plants ain't working. I want some fresh tomatoes. I'm going to go buy another plant, get it planted, and keep rolling. And we got the volunteer one too. If anyone knows anything about that citrus, the vine or the leaf thing that's going on, it looks crazy. Um, please comment, let me know what you think about that. Um, I'll keep doing my research on it, obviously. But anyway, another special thing today is it's Mother's Day. So everyone, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Um, hopefully you guys get to relax a little. I cleaned up the kitchen this morning. I've already started laundry, so Christine didn't have to clean the kitchen. I do laundry anyway all the time, but I don't ever clean the kitchen. That's their job, but I do it. Um, and that's it. We're going to hang out. It's a beautiful hot day out, so we might go to the beach, bring the kid, or something. But I'm definitely going to get another tomato plant going. And um, that's about it, guys. Um, the garden isn't looking that great, but it's getting that time of year where it's hard to maintain it here in Zone 9 with all this sunshine, humidity, and heat. But we're going to do the best we can. Purple jalapenos, Korean dark greens. Plant those if you're down here in Zone 9. They work great. Poblanos work great. So I got the pepper plants down. My tomato plants, again, that was out of the hybrid seeds. So it just might not be very good for zone 9, that particular plant. You know what I mean? So I'll go down to probably Lowe's and pick up some regional tomato plants. That'll probably be a little bit better and more um, maintained in this heat. So besides that, I am going to call it a day, get this edited, get it uploaded, and enjoy the rest of the day before it's back to the work week. So we will talk to you guys next weekend. We're going out on the boat with my friends, so maybe I'll video some of that, maybe not. But anyway, we'll talk to you later. Have a good day.